Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is Multiply Fractions and Whole Numbers. This is uh, Section 7-2 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons are at MrMathBlog.com. And there's our common course strand. And how can we uh, use a model to show the product of a fraction and a whole number? So this model is used in the next uh, couple of lessons anyway. So here's an example. Marvin is planting flowers in a row in rows, sorry. Each row is two meters long, so he wants to plant tulips along three-fourths of each row. So how many meters uh, will he be planting tulips here? So what we're doing is we're going to multiply three-fourths times two. Okay, so we're going to use some fraction strips here. We're going to place two one-hole fraction strips side by side to represent the length of the flower garden. Okay, so there's our two meters. It says right here, two meters long. So one, two right there. All right, and then what we're going to do is find four fraction strips. And the reason why we're finding four fraction strips, because that's what our denominator is. We want to find three-fourths of that. So we want to find four fraction strips all that have the same denominator that fit exactly from here to here okay four of them that's going to fit from here to here so if we pick up our fraction strips we'll find out that we can pick up four one half strips and there's four of them right there and that'll fit exactly underneath these two meters right here okay so uh, now we're going to circle three of the uh, of the two of this model so th we're gonna circle three of these one halves right here so let's go ahead and circle these guys right here so we're looking for three uh, fourths of two right there so there we go right there so there's a uh, one half plus one half plus one half gives us three of those one halves right there okay so complete the number sentence right there so three fourths times two thirds is look here is one because that represents one one and one half right there so one half um, and it also equals three halves right there. I don't know what your teacher is looking for, if they're looking for one and a half or three halves or both, depending on what your teacher is looking for right there. So Marvin's going to plant uh, one and a half meters of tulips in the rows uh, of his garden right there. So explain why we placed four fraction strips with the same denominator under the two one whole strips right there. Well, that was because we needed to find three fourths uh, times two. So the number of fraction strips under the whole strips combined is the same as our denominators. So our denominator was 4 right here. So as the denominator of the fraction so we would, that we are multiplying. So look at the denominator and that's how many fraction strips are going to go underneath the the adjoining, uh, in this case, two holes right here. So let's try that with this method here. So how could we model three tenths of two? Well, remember, two is two whole fraction strips, and then we find, uh, uh, place uh, uh, two one whole fraction strips, and then find ten, because it, the denominator's ten, ten fraction strips, all that have the same denominator that fit exactly underneath the two. In this case, uh, one fifth. Uh, there we can find ten of the one fifths <clears throat> that circled underneath this two, and then we can circle three of them to show three tenths of it. Here's ten tenths, and then here's three of the ten right here. So three tenths would be one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth is three fifths right here. Okay, so three tenths of two or three tenths times two is the same as uh, this right here, three fifths right there. Okay. All right, so in the investigate part, we multiplied a whole number by a fraction. We can also use a model to multiply a fraction by a whole number, okay? So Mrs. Peralta's class had a pizza party. When the party was over, there were three boxes left with pizza in them. Each box had three-eighths of a pizza left, so how much pizza was left in all? So we're going to use fraction circles on this one because we're talking about a pizza, so we're going to find three, because there were three boxes, three times three-eighths. So we'll model three whole fraction circles to represent the number of boxes containing uh, the pizza left in them. So let's find um, uh, three times three-eighths, and we're going to model this. So here's um, uh, three whole circles right there, okay? The next step is we're going to place one-eighth fraction circle pieces uh, on each circle to represent the amount of pizza that was left in each box, okay? So there's uh, there are uh, one-eighth uh, fraction circles right there. So now we're going to shade the fraction circles um, uh, to show three-eighths in each, okay? So there's uh, uh, one, two, three-eighths in this one, and three-eighths in this one, and three-eighths in this one right here. Okay, let me move that up. So each circle shows three-eighths of a whole, and the three circles together show nine-eighths of a whole. 
Okay, so um, nine eighths of a whole, here's eight eighths of a whole, and here's one eighth of a whole. So this is one, so one plus one eighth is one and one eighth left over. So a whole pizza and a leftover piece. So complete the number sentence. Three eighths plus three eighths plus three eighths uh, gave us that nine eighths right there. So this is going to be nine eighths. So uh, or one and one eighth. Here's our one and one eighth. So we can say nine eighths or one and one eighth. Again, I don't know what your teacher is looking for, depending on your teacher. And then same with here. Three times three eighths is the same as nine eighths or or one and one eighth. Okay. Here's our one and one eighth right there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So Maggie had uh, one and one eighth of a pizza left over. Oh boy. Mark has five pound bag of apples. To make pie, he needs to use three fifths of the bag. So how many pounds of apples will he use for the pie? Explain what a model uh, for this might look like. Okay, well, since he has a five pound bag, here's five whole strips right here. And so since we're looking for three fifths of five, so by placing five one whole fraction strips, we already have it in terms of fifths. So then we just need to circle three of these giving three pounds. So three fifths of five is just one, two, three pounds right there. Okay. All right. So here's some more examples here. So find the product. All right. So over here, here's five, six of three. Here's one, two, three. And then uh, we have uh, six fraction strips that fit underneath that three, and that gives us half fraction strips, and we circled five of them. So that's going to give us uh, one, two, three, four, five halves, or one, two, two and a half right there. So five halves is the same as two and a half, okay? Five halves, you guys, is two halves plus two halves plus one half right there. And this is one plus one plus one half is two and a half right there. Okay, over here, here we have um, uh, five six plus five six is going to give us uh, ten six right there. Ten six reduces to five thirds. And three goes into five once with two left over, so one and two thirds right there, okay? Over here, five twelfths times three, just multiply five times three is fifteen, fifteen twelfths, and then three goes into that five times, three goes into twelve four times, and then so we have five fourths, and that gives us one and one fourth, okay? And then here, uh, if we multiply 4 times 7, we get uh, 28. Whoops, so here's a model right here. I'm sorry, you guys. So here's a model. So um, uh, 1, 2, 3, and then we found uh, 12 pieces that fit under these three holes. So that gave us the 1 fourth uh, fraction strips right here. And then we circled five of them, and so that gave us um, uh, the five twelfths times 3. So anyways, 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, here, uh, 4 times 7 eighths. Here we go. There's our four seven eights right there. So that's going to give us 28 eights right there. We'll show this in the next lesson also. Okay, so 28 eights is the same as eight eights plus eight eights plus eight eights. There's 24 eights plus four more is 28 eights. So four eights is one half right there. Okay. All right, so that's three and a half right there, okay? All right, so here's the last two that we just did. I want to show you another method that we're going to see later on. We're going to change three to three over one. And then what we can do is cross cancel. So this isn't taught in this lesson. I'm just showing you a little shortcut right here. Three goes into three once. Three goes into 12 four times. So they call it cross canceling right there, okay? Similarly, four goes into four once. It goes into eight twice right there. And then we can multiply these smaller numbers, five times one over over four times one over here one times seven over one times two okay so that gives us uh, five fourths and seven halves and those reduce to those fractions right there let's use that with this one right here so I'm going to change this 11 to 11 over one and this five to five over one right there okay and then uh, nothing cancels over here, so we'll just multiply 11 times 3. But over here, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 15 three times. That should be a 3 right there. Golly, I make mistakes all the time. My students catch me. I think I cleared that up on this last one. Yeah. All right, so this is uh, 33 fourths, and this is 4 thirds. And then 4 goes into 33 eight times with one left over. So, and then 3 goes into... Uh, four once with one left over. So this is in terms of th thirds. This one's in terms of fourths right there. Don't worry if you don't understand this last little process I did right there. That's not till later. I'm just trying to show you a little uh, flash forward ahead in a shorter lesson, uh, in a future lesson. Sorry. All right, you guys take care. Hope that helped you guys.